Kenya loses more than 100 billion shillings in revenue annually to illicit trade. According to a study conducted by the Anti-Counterfeit Authority, carried out between October 2019 and February 2020, Kenya lost, get this, 102.99 billion shillings back in 2018 and another 101.23 billion in 2017. The study was released as Kenya joined other countries globally to mark the World Anti-Counterfeit Day. Uh, uh, the study focused on 16 sectors of the economy that have been adversely affected by counterfeits. Building, mining and construction was heavily affected by counterfeiting with a share of 23.37% in value of total illicit trade, followed by energy, electrical and electronics with a share of 14.67% in 2018. The sector with the most government revenue loss was food, beverages and non-alcoholic drinks with a share of 23.19%, followed by textiles and apparels at 20.09%. 30% of the firm, the survey says, were aware that their products were being counterfeited and sold in the market, whereas 56.4% of those sampled were not aware of the same. The report also showed that between 2016 and 2018, 7,484 jobs were lost in Kenya due to illicit trade, with counterfeiting accounting for 32.59% of jobs lost. The study also cited piracy as a critical form of illicit trade, resulting to loss of sales estimated at 2.2 billion shillings over the period between 2016 and 2018. This is what would have been done long, long time ago. However, it has not been able to be done in the last uh, 10 years of existence of the anti counterfeit Authority. However, with the support of our development partner, uh, Timea, which is representing the development partner who supported this survey, we've been able to come to conclude this research study. As a result, Kenya partnered with the trademark East Africa through ACA to enhance efforts of the multi-agency team on illicit trade established by the president. The move focusing on six types of illicit trade, namely counterfeit, piracy, substandard goods, unaccustomed goods, restricted goods and unexcised goods. The people who are involved in this indeed are not governments. It is individual criminals. And therefore, as a country, we continue to partner with our sister neighbors to ensure that we take care of our borders. AC has also recommended the introduction of the anti-illicit trade laws with punitive measures against offenders to make it costly to engage in illicit trade, as well as introduce in the anti-illicit trade wars a reward scheme for whistleblowers. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.